of Parliament in 2019 until 2019. Belum nyampe 2019. Hello everyone, my name is Hana and my name is Hani. We're back. So this week's episode is about Beyond Mainstream. Our first guest speaker is Miss Nova Rianti Yusuf. She is a psychiatrist and also a novelist. Not only that, she was also a member of Parliament in 2009 until 2014. Our second guest speaker is Miss Mardia Chamim. She is the journalist of Tempo and also the director of Tempo Institute. But not only that, she also wrote a book called A Giant Pack of Lies. What's really interesting about Miss Nova Rianti Yusuf is the fact that she told us to be the real self. There's this weird idea that like not all people but most people they when they posted something online on social platforms or in online social platforms we tend to create an image like that we want ourself. yeah of ourselves or like what we want the audience, audience to, to see. see in ourselves yeah but the fact is that she told us to be real because for in order for you to be credible is that for you to be real because be who you are not be someone, someone else, else that you're not yeah exactly. someone actually can tell whether you're lying, lying or, or not, not after meeting you you yeah. know and then the fact is if you make this such like idea of that you are such person but when in reality you're not a person and that such person then it, it would totally it, ruin the you tra- as a person it, like people wouldn't trust you anymore because yeah, exactly. they have this expectation that you'll be like this That's or anything. like that and then you find and finally you meet and then you're not like that and people would get really devastating because the fact that you're not yeah, their like expectation that. doesn't meet real doesn't meet the reality so yeah just be true to yourself guys first rule of the day be, be true, true to yourself <laughs> for her a way of communicating is through writing so she wrote a book called Marai Cinta or in English it's reaching love no actually what she said was it was bread bread is love but then okay. It's not exactly what it's called in though, but uh, there are other novelists that uh, she novels that she also wrote. What really interesting is that the fact that she's actually really passionate about okay. healthcare. So back in 2009 to 2014, she, she was a part of Parliament member. Member actually. But what really interesting about her is actually that she's actually scared talking to a mass of people. She's, she was she wasn't this conf- confident person. She was really she, she said that she was really shy and doesn't want to talk to a, a lot of people. But she's actually she was actually a part of parliament where in which you you are actually required to speak to a lot of people. You have to have good communication skill to be able to talk to a lot of people, which is kind of interesting about her. And then she delivers so many speeches and. She uh, she also delivered speeches as champion MP for Asian, and she also spoke at the UN headquarters in New York. So she's a big deal, guys. And then her English is flawless. Well. Yeah, and then one of the most inspiring thing about her is the fact that she created this model project for mobile unit healthcare. This is really this is really moving because it's uh, it's her passion. Yeah, it's for the ha- for helping mental Ill. health. Mental illness, yeah. She know that mental health. health issues, it is a need of medicine and support and awareness for this specific um, mental health. And since 2009, she was been she has been trying and trying, and finally she able to get. Yeah, she 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 project. finally passed the mental illness bill into the law and make sure that everyone was aware that there is this law for mental health. So she actually actually make a difference in the society, which is making a new law is kind of a big deal to, mm-hmm. to actually change people's perspective. And the fact that she made sure that everyone was aware that this law was finally legalized is the fact that she went, went and jumped it, into like water. Yeah, a pond of water, which is kind of like it attracts people. Yeah. It's a good thing that she do it. <laughs> so most people would be like, oh, this is what's happening, you know? People would be more aware of what's happening inside of the society. So yeah, I think that's what really interesting about her. 
What What's really interesting about Ms. Mardia Chamin is the fact that she is not only a journalist in Tempo, one of the biggest newspaper company in Indonesia, but back in 2009, she believed that she wanted to be a journalist with a cause, so she, she just wants to make a change, change in the society. community. And then she created this program, yes. program called Menjadi Indonesia, where it consists of letters to leaders from uh, from people, people in from children children in Indonesia from little areas from big cities from every from everywhere so, so you can actually present your letters and then just like send it uh, to, her, to her and to this program to and for you to express your feelings yes. and raise your voice yeah and then the result was she had 120 letters which is a lot <laughs> for many like big titles like CEOs minister and even the president and one of the very like touching thing about her what she said okay. was through this letter i want children even in the rural area to dream big so she is telling you guys that don't be afraid to dream big i know it, it could be a little scary because sometimes dreams it's, it's, it's just a dream it, it could be shattered but if you don't dream big now you're gonna regret it later because sometimes Dreaming like a big thing means you have a big, big purpose, purpose in your life. So which is good for you because you get to try things okay. that you didn't know that you could handle. Actually, yeah, actually you can reach, you know. And also she meet, uh, she, uh, she, she wrote, wrote a this book. Uh, wrote a book called A Giant Pack of Lies. It's actually telling the people, uh, readers in society, especially in Indonesia, because we're in, uh, this country is a big country where people cigarettes are really cheap and people, and people smoke, smoke even the year. young ones, like 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 young ones, 12, 13, years 14 years old, which is kind of kids, yeah. they're smoking. So she in this book, she actually exposed Post. what's really like ha happening happening in the cigarette companies and it's really controversial but in a way it's a it's a it's, good it's an eye opener if you guys haven't read it maybe you guys should read it a giant pack of lies go, go check it out we'll put a picture here yeah, somewhere yeah. go check it out and that's, that's probably so what's so inspiring about her so we actually did a question and answering session with her not mm -hmm. a lot but uh we get to ask her what was what was her first purpose of making, making this uh, book? Making this writing book, this writing book. this book. So she told us that her first purpose was because she was she was exposed to the fact that cigarettes companies are not what it seems like. Uh, so she has like, like dirty secrets yeah, about she, it. She get to know the dirty secrets of cigarette companies, company. which is kind of a big deal, especially because they keep it secretive yeah. so but they want to like she want to expose that fact mm -hmm. that so the people would, would actually, actually be stop. aware and stop smoking so that, the that, that number would lower down because lower it, down. Yeah. so that's probably it for the first part of our video this and uh, this in this episode of beyond mainstream you guys just don't forget to check out the second part will we'll be coming this soon, soon maybe a day or two day difference but you guys can check that out later check that out because we have two more amazing speakers that would maybe review on so i hope you guys enjoy it don't I'm forget to like subscribe and share our video and comment on the uh, section below telling us what's your favorite thing about today's episode and if you think that cigarette is bad that for you click a like button on this click the like button <laughs> click it, click it, click it. <laughs> well, well 